Now, Marcus Timms actually worked with Andujar when he was in the minors. I sat down with Yankees hitting coach Marcus Timms to ask if he could have predicted this type of production from Andujar. I mean, I knew he had talent, but um, I, I didn't. I can't sit here and say that I would predict him going off the way he is. But um, it's been special. He's helped us out a lot, and um, he's having a great year. What's the biggest growth you've seen in him from the minors till now? Um, yeah, he, he's 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 being aggressive for me um, in the strike zone. When the ball's in the strike zone, he's not he's not missing his pitches. So um, for him getting experience and learning how guys are trying to um, attack him, um, he comes to the cage with a plan and approach, and, and he carries carries it out in the ball game. So um, he's been doing a great job at that. When he steps to the plate, do you just expect him to get an extra base hit at this point in time? <laughs> he looked real hitterish when he gets into the box right now. One of my buddies was talking about him the other day, but as um, soon as he goes in there, he's looking for a pitch to hit and hit it hard. On the flip side. Labor Torres got off to such a great start, but he's really slowed down. What are you seeing from him right now? We got to keep him calm down a little bit. He's trying to chase the results. Um, got off to a really good start, um, but he's still a talented player. Um, just try to have quality at best. Like I talked to him yesterday. Don't try to chase hits. And if he stays in the strike zone, he's going to have some success. Is it difficult to get that point through to a young player who's trying to kind of prove his worth on the team? It is. Um, you know, you, you want him to stay aggressive, but you want him to stay aggressive in the zone. And when guys are struggling, they, they're just swinging. He's just swinging and trying to trying to get a hit any way he can. But I just told him to go back to the, go back to the guy you were when you came up, and the results will show. Earlier in the season, when John Carlos Stanton was struggling a little bit, you said he's close. He will get there. He will get there. Well, he looks pretty dialed in right now. His work's been really good, and um, he's in a really good groove right now. Um, his work's been amazing. His BP's been great, and his game plan and approach in the game is, has been really good. And like I said earlier, it, it was coming. I mean, he got off to a slow start, but his baseball card doesn't lie. And um, he's, he's carrying us right now. And I told him earlier in the season that we're going to have to get on those wide shoulders of his, and, and we're riding him right now. Overall? How do you feel about the offense? Um, I feel good. Um, I want guys to continue to have good at bats. Um, if we continue to have good at bats and control the strike zone, and um, when we get guys out there really hone in on being aggressive in the strike zone, if we do that, we're going to be where we need to be. Have you seen progress when it comes to Greg Bird? I have. Um, I have. His work's been great. Um, he's been working hard in the cages. Um, we just got to get better results on the field in the game. And, and that he's got to stay in the strike zone and be aggressive when you know guys are attacking him and stay ready to hit. Now Aaron Judge clearly on the DL. He has not started swinging a bat until he starts doing so. I know it's tough to, to estimate the time frame, but just knowing what you know typically, when a guy doesn't see live pitching for weeks on end, how long does it take to get dialed back in? It takes him quite a bit, but um, he, he's been going out tracking uh, our, some of our pitchers in the bullpen, um, just standing in when they're throwing their live bullpen. So um, just trying to make sure his eyes stay sharp, but um, got to do whatever he can to, to try and stay sharp. But um, knowing Aaron, he's going to be ready.